In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can make a tour in Google Earth. So let me show you first what a tour looks like. I've created one previously that I've saved as a KMZ file, and I want to show you what that looks like. So you see right away, it consists of a variety of place marks I've created, and when I open up the tour in the places area that I just loaded, you'll see the familiar place marks as well as this thing called tour example, and it looks like it has a little tiny camera with it, and that indicates that it's a tour. So I highlight that tour and I hit the play tour button uh, on the lower right of the places box area. And when I do that, it begins to visit each of these locations that I've already created. Notice that as it visits each location, it changes the orientation. And in addition, it also shows a little pop-up window for information about that location. And then at the end, it brings me back to the full perspective of the place I started at. So how did I create that? Well, let's walk through the process. The first thing I need to do when I'm going to create a tour in Google Earth is to create a folder where I'm going to place all the items on the tour. This is important because when I save this tour later on, I need to have all the items in the same folder for, for easy packaging and also for sharing. So we're going to call this an SSU tour, tour of Salem State. So we'll name the folder as something that references that. And then I'm going to add the buildings that I want to visit. So I've already saved a KMZ file previously with buildings that I want to look at on campus. Now, when I open that up, I'll see a separate folder opens up under that Save KMZ. I'm going to move these items underneath my folder that I just created so that it's nice and neat the way that I want it. And I'll get rid of that item that I just added. Okay, so I've got each of the places I want to visit within my folder, my tour folder. Next thing I want to do is I want to control the perspective on each of these places. The neat thing about the tour, as you saw in the example, was that as it visited each location, it changed the height from which we looked at the location as well as the perspective. So the way that works is that you need to zoom in to the location you're going to visit and get into the proper uh, scale that you want to see. In this case, we're looking at the Sullivan Building, and we want to look at it from the perspective of this corner. So I'm going to change the orientation of the image. And I can do that in a couple of ways. In the upper right corner, you'll see these navigation tools. You see the little N indicates north in that direction. If you click and drag, you can turn that around so you can change the orientation of the map. In addition, you'll see the this uh, uh, navigation tool. It's called a look tool. It's a look around. And if you click down on one of the arrows, what you'll notice is it begins to change the perspective um, so that eventually what you'll do is it's like looking across the landscape at an oblique view. A quicker way to do that, though, is to hold the shift key down on your keyboard and then with your mouse, click the left button and pull either up or down to change that perspective. If you go left or right with your mouse holding down the shift key, you can also change the orientation. So I'm going to adjust it so that it was kind of like looking at Sullivan Building from an oblique perspective. I like this perspective, so what I want to do is right click on Sullivan Building in the places area and then choose snapshot view. And what this will do is it'll preserve this perspective for this particular location. Okay, let's go to the next place, Bertalon Building, which is over here. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, perspective and orientation. So I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard, click on the left button on the mouse holding that down, and then go to the left to change the orientation just a bit. And then I'm going to get a little closer. Okay, I like that perspective. So now I click on that, that particular place mark, right click, choose snapshot view, that'll preserve that. And then lastly, I'm going to visit our last tour location, the Harrington Building. Okay, And I'm going to reorient it to look at it as if we were coming in from Loring Avenue. So this is going to require changing the uh, orientation. So I'm going to pull to the right with my mouse. Okay, And there we go. We can see the street and cross street. I like that perspective. So I click on Harrington Building right click and choose snapshot view and it's preserved that location. Now the last thing I want to do is I want the tour to kind of begin and end looking at the whole campus. So the way that I do that is I'm going to create one more uh, place mark in the center of campus and I'm going to make it sort of invisible though so that it doesn't show up. It just kind of controls the camera angle so to speak. So I'm going to zoom back out to the campus and the way that I can do that very quickly if I hit the R button on my keyboard what that'll do is it'll return 
um, Google Earth to the perspective where north is up and then it kind of makes it a vertical perspective so we lose that oblique view. So I'm going to zoom out just enough so that we can see the full campus. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new place mark, which will show up right in the middle. And I'll call this Salem State University. Okay. And I'm going to remove the icon so it doesn't kind of compete with the other locations. So I'm going to click on the little icon symbol and then choose no icon. Okay. And then I'm also going to change the color and style, or rather just the color of the title there of the label so it doesn't look like the other location. So I'm going to make it something a little less um, intrusive. So I'm going to make it white so it looks a little different from the others. All right, and I'll hit OK. All right, so now I want that icon to be the last thing the tour visits, which is going to control that last perspective that we see when we do the tour. So I'm going to right click on Salem State University place mark and choose snapshot view. And again, what that'll do is it'll return me to this particular perspective. So now we've got everything pretty much set up. One last thing we want to check is under Tools and Options, we want to control how long we want the uh, tour to kind of uh, hang out at each location as it visits and also how quickly we want to travel between locations. So by default, uh, it's probably going to say five or six seconds uh, time between features, which is kind of a slow tour. Uh, we're, we're running low on time, so we're going to make it quick. We're going to go two seconds between features and then how long do we want to wait at features? I'm going to say two seconds because there's not much to show at each feature. If you had a lot of text in your pop-ups or if you had images, you want going to, you, you would want to give it more time so that it has time to open the image and to, and for the viewer to look at whatever, whatever it is that you're showing them. Last thing, make sure that the show balloon when waiting at features is, has a check mark so that when it, when the tour visits those locations, they automatically open up for you. All right. So those are the three main things. So those are checked off. We're ready to go, so we'll hit apply, and then OK, and then we're ready to run the tour. So what, the way that we run the tour is we, we select the folder that contains all of our items that we want to visit, and then we're going to hit the uh, play tour button, and what that'll do is it'll visit each location in turn and allow us to record that tour. So I think we're ready to go, so I'm going to hit the play tour button, and you'll see it zooms in the Sullivan building, the pop-up comes up, the perspectives look the way we've set them up, and we visit the last location, the Harrington Building, and then we end back at that perspective that we created with the Salem State University icon. So it looks pretty good. And you'll notice now in the lower left, there's this uh, tour uh, floating toolbar. So this allows us to play and replay the tour. But more importantly, for our perspective, from our perspective right now, it allows us to save this tour. So we hit the little save icon, and it'll come up with a new uh, dialog box, and we're going to call this SSU Tour, Salem State University Tour. This is a tour of oops, State University. Okay, and you'll see now over here on the left, we have a new uh, item that says SSU Tour. It's got a little tiny camera looking icon there. We're going to drag this to the top. So it's the first item there. Okay, and we're going to right click on this thing and choose snapshot view and what that'll do is that whenever somebody starts the tour it's going to always start from this perspective and of course as you saw earlier it'll always end at this perspective so it's nice and clean all right so we have all the elements that we need and the last thing we need to do is to save this and of course when we save a series of place marks they need to be all in the same folder and again what we're going to do is we're going to save the folder so we want to highlight just that and you see that all of the items that belong to the tour are all within that folder. And you can tell because they're indented underneath the folder and they have that little dotted line that indicates they belong to that folder. So I'm right clicking on the SSU tour folder, choose save place as, pick a location. It already gave it a name, SSU tour KMZ. Save and you're done with your tour. Now you can take that file, that SSU tour file that you just created, and you can email that to yourself or to somebody else. It's very small so that they can try it out. Again, like with anything else that you do um, in a, with a computer where you're going to share, make sure you test it out ahead of time on a computer that you have not worked on before, or better yet, send it to a friend and have them try it out on Google Earth to make sure that it works as you expect it.